And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Sakura Succubus 4, where we left off. Apparently, Hazel found uh, an abandoned shrine. So, uh, it's going to be our basic mini game for the night and uh, for this summer. So, might as well. So, uh, we're just picking up our teams now. So, uh, yeah, let's get right back into it. Mine is yellow. Does anyone have a yellow stick? Ugh. AU pulls a face and then prefers her stick to me. Yeah, I do. They're a perfect match. Excellent. It seems like we're on the same team. Let us do our best. <laughs> my life is in your hands. Don't be so melodramatic. And stop patting my head. I'm not a dog, you know. I'm gonna mess up my hair. I have red. Does anyone have red? That's me! Looks like it's me and you, Cosmos. Oh, I see. Cosmos sighs and then kicks to the ground with the tip of her foot. But you're not too bad, Hazel. That ain't exactly glowing praise, but I'll take it. <laughs> now let's do our best. I don't play games with participation trophies. I only play to win. I, too, would like to win. So I'll do my best. I cannot let that wicked AU best me. Who are you calling wicked, you little whelp? I'll show you! Fumin and I will get the shrine before anyone else, and I'll kiss it. And you'll have to stand and watch on the sidelines. <laughs> Bitch. And you wonder why I call you wicked? You laugh like an anime villain. I was about to say, if anyone has noticed it just so far, I tried to attempt it. That was bad. <laughs> but anyway. AU has like no chill, but I guess that's part of her appeal. My stick, meanwhile, is green. It's a bright world green, like a grass underfold. And coincidentally, like my partner's eyes, that's actually a beautiful line. That's a very beautiful line. I guess that leaves you with me, Marina. I hope you don't mind too much. Oh no, I'm gratified actually. I was hoping I would be paired with you. You, um, won't mind if I find myself clinging on to you, will you? Nah, I'll be fine. You can cling on to me as much as you want. But, but they will... will lag behind... They will lag behind the others. No, I don't care about that. It makes no difference to me whether we win or lose. Your comfort is way more important. Nah! I have a marine in my hand. Shall we depart? It looks like I... The others have already set off. Right, um... Marina loops her arms around... Or, oh, sorry. Marina loops her arms through mine, then offer me a small smile. Her smile trembles at the edges of the foundation, but she looks no less beautiful for it. Please lead away. I'll be relying on you. Oh, that is so adorable. Aww. Look at her. That's adorable. <sighs> she does look great in that summer dress. Mm, 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 mm. How are you holding up, Marina? You okay? Uh, I am... Um, I'm fine. That's what Marina says, but her actions belies her words. She clings on to me like a limp pit. Her sizable bust presses up against my arm. I can't say I dislike the close proximity. It's hard to keep a steady pace like this, but her body is very soft. All in all, it's quite the cozy situation. For me, Marine, alas, looks scared of her skin. Her eyes are too wide, like a startled rabbit, and I can feel her shivering. Maybe it was a bad idea to engage in Hazel's silly test of courage. I have no qualm about it. I stop being scared of the dark, and the imaginary monsters can, that lures within it when I was five, but Marina almost paralyzed by fear. Her steps are small and shuffling, but that's not because of her clothes. Her office attire is almost reluctantly tight with its high waist pencil skirt, but her sundress is more bellowy. It should be easy. It, oh, Jesus, it should be easy for her to move. But it isn't. We're almost definitely going to come in 
little last in the little contest not that I mind much I don't care about winning I do however care about Marina are you sure you're gonna be okay yeah I'm sure there's no probably I am utterly completely <laughs> there it is Marina's voice cut off seeking like a sorry Marina's voice cut off Settling into a scared squeal as she was clinging on to me. An inductive shape, only particularly illuminated by my flashlight, darts across the path. The undergrowth rustles and then consumes it, hiding it from view. Oh my goodness. Marina stares at me, meeting my brown eyes with her own wide, surprised ones. What in the world was that, Hideki? You think that was a ghost? It passed by you. I, I highly doubt that. I don't know. It seems a bit too corporal for that. Not to mention small and furry. Oh, that was probably a rabbit. Then it was a monster. I suppose it could be a baby monster, but I think, though I can't tell, it's a little hard to see. It was a rabbit. A rabbit? Oh, I hope. I do hope so. Rain exhale. Some of her tension slips from my shoulders. She does not draw away from me. She's clinging on to me as though for dear life. I retract everything I said earlier. I was trying to appear strong, but I cannot keep my pretense with you. This is simply awful. I can't stand it. I like going for walks in the forest during the day, but it's no fun at all at night. It's so dark. I can scarcely see, even with the flashlight, and the trees look like gasping claws. There's no telling what is hiding away in the undergrowth, and it's so cold. I don't understand how anybody can enjoy this. These must be insane. Han and Fumi, too. Uh, oh, they're all just bad as each other. I've been soldering on for a good 20 minutes, almost surgically attaching to my arm, but I think she might be nearing her limit. I'm afraid if I keep pushing, she'll have a breakdown. Maybe I should just, just retreat, a retreat. That would be a, all likelihood a best move. I don't want Marina to suffer it pointlessly. Not over something that's supposed to be fun. Are you sure you want to keep going? I have no choice but to. I already agreed to this silliness. I'll just see it through until the end. You might have, but there's no shame in changing your mind. You're trembling like a leaf and I can hear you. Heart thumping. You're clearly not cut out for this. Why don't we go back to the beach house? I can text Text Hazel and tell her we're bailing out the conversation. I'm sure she won't mind. I think it's a perfectly sensible idea, but Marina doesn't seem to agree. No, 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 no. That will never do. If I turn back now, we'll ruin the fun for the others. They sound so induced about this competition. As in their older sister, I wouldn't want to let them down. Moreover, Marina clings on to them tightly. If such thing as possible, her brow furrowed with concern. I wouldn't want them to realize I'm afraid of monsters. It will ruin my credibility. They wouldn't have n have to know. I could think of an excuse. Maybe I say I could sprain my ankle. No one would judge you then. A white lie will allow me to say face, but I still would know it would be a lie. I'm an honorable woman and I'm precisely honest and upfront. Okay, fair enough. I do not wish to make my sisters worry about me either, as they're elder and they're better. It's my job to fuss about them, not the other way around. So you determined to see this through? I must. I cannot let my own fears get the better of me. I will conquer my phobias once and for all. I've come so far, I'll be ashamed to retreat now. She looks at me beneath the sheep of dark eyelashes, her face only particularly illuminated by the flash, my flashlight, and I know I will be safe with you, and I trust you wholeheartedly. I'm sure you'll keep me safe no matter what happens. Nothing's going to happen, Marina, but you're right on that score. I'll do my best. I'd be a pretty cuddly partner if I couldn't lie for your worries. Thank you, dear. If I was with you, I wouldn't be able to tough this out. I need you to keep going. It shouldn't be that hard. I only need to place one foot after the other. I can do this. Raina eyes burn with newfound determination. Smolder like a fox fire. You mean to tell me you couldn't just say Firefox? Oh, come on! I can. 
I've always been my worst enemy. I shall not let my own fear best me. I'm a mature woman, and I'm far too old to get scared by these things which go bump into the night. Really, I am being foolish. I know full well. There's no such thing as ghosts and monsters. Hee hee! Rina breaks off, scream. What is new? She clings onto me. Her, her head breaks against her shoulder and whimpers like a startled kitten. I don't think I can take much more of this. Well, so much for bursting of self-confidence. Advances so quickly as a cane. Scatter on the breeze. A chill blossom. I guess Marina's headstrong, though she is, isn't going to shake off the phobia anytime soon. The night stretch out ahead of me, dark and impenetrable. At this rate, we'll never make it to the shrine. I just hope we don't get lost. Then I might start losing my cool, too. Half an hour later. Oh, what do you know? This wasn't as half hard as I feared. An old temple shrine looms before me in the darkness, framed by trees, and the shrine looks distinctly eerie and something of a horror movie. It's a wooden door that's patently shut, and an old paper charm that's stuck to it. It's either to keep Maligan's spirits out there or to keep the sh keep them shut up inside. It's clear from a glance that the shrine hasn't been used in a while. Some of the tiles have been falling off the roof and its wood supports are cracked. The stone torches either side of the shrine are unlit and the grass is overgrown, strewn with weeds and nettles. I shrine... Oh, sorry. I shine in the flashlight. Oh, sorry. I shine my flashlight over the end of the the old building, picking out details in the gloom. It's not a large swine. It's not a large shrine, but I wouldn't be surprised if I caved in under its own weight. It looks distinctly worn, eaten, and woven off. When was the last time anybody came here to pray? For all I know, it's been 10, 12, hell, even 50 years. I don't feel too perturbed as I glaze upon it. Instead, I feel a strange, of, strange kind of sympathy. There's something very sad and lonely about this rundown building. I'm sure somebody must have cared for it once in the past, but the priest who tended to it is, all in likelihood, too firm to weigh all the force to unlock the door and sweep its old stone steps. That or they're long dead. Looks like we're the first ones here. I shine the light about the dirt and the grass, but I can't see any footsteps. Place looks more and less untouched. Hazel, Afumi, Ayu, and Cosmos are consp conspicuously absent. My bad. I guess it really didn't matter that Hazel had been in the shrine before. Her sense of direction is ever a bit awful, as she promised. Does that make us the winners? I can't exactly kiss myself. I turn to Marina, smiling. But you're more than welcome to claim your prize if you want it. Want us to peace. Doesn't respond. She steps a few away, hands clenched in front of me, her eyes wide, too wide as she stares at the shrine. She didn't say it all on Trek to the Woods, but she's now completely silent. She's standing still as stiff as the book when supporting the shrine. We're not for the bellow. Sorry. We're not for the bellowing of a white dress, which flutters on her legs. I worried she turned into stone. Marina, are you okay? Still, she says nothing. She looks utterly dumbfounded. I guess this place is pretty scary, but don't worry. There's nothing to be worried about. There aren't ghosts in here, and even if there are, cut them off. Absolutely nothing to be scared about. Okay, and there's that. The footsteps. Some of his posters with a couple of trees. Itty key! A dismembered voice cries, cuts through the stillness of the. Itty key, is that you? Please say it is. I've been still around the woods for hours. 
It is so cold. I need to warm me up. A petal <laughs> figure is upon us with pale skin in the dark stream. Oh, oh, it's a Fumi. I see two wide eyes, powerfully blue, flickering on a wisp, and then orange. Yep, that's her. Marina, calm down. Marina! A blood curling. Jesus Christ. This just ended so poorly. Oh, it's, it's you. Oh my God. I didn't even peep. It was my, it was fucking you. It's, um, it's one of the girls I brought up earlier. That's, um, that's literally the, literally the lady of the fucking lady of hell to be specific, but, or lady of the succubus realm. That's her. Thank goodness. That is a relief. What are you doing? Oh my sweet Jesus Christ. You, you gotta stop doing that. Please. Immense from a new to reveal. This is one I know very well. You stands before me, frames in the silhouette rows of dark trees. Her long black hair, which now is they got, think about it, does bear a strike resembling of a certain TV dwelling ghost flutter her <laughs> face and framing it. She's wearing not her her succubus attire, not her extravagant casual clothes, if you call them that, but a blue and white bikini. It's very cute swimsuit with girlish ruffles. It doesn't really suit the environment. Why are you dressed like that and what are you doing here? Oh, that, um, you glances uncharacteristically flustered and then pressed the tips of her index fingers together. A pale pink blush captures her cheeks and her eyelashes cover. It's a long story. You see, uh, I heard you all were going on the summer vacation and I thought it might be fun to join you. I didn't want to be left out. Wait, did a you not tell her? I thought she did. Okay. Guess I assumed different. Well, that's fair. I don't think anybody enjoys being excluded, but unless you're a particular type of masochist. Sorry about that. I would have invited you along if I'd known you wanted to come, but wait. I paused my brow furrowed. I thought you did invite you, but you refused. Didn't you say you were too busy running in the succubus realm to take time off? Yes, indeed, I am busy. I'm so busy. Still am, in fact. The succu my succubi are so demanding. They cannot be without me for too long else they will go quite literally to hell my subjects are very sweet but they need to be disciplined as their princess i cannot let the anarchy take sway i get that that sounds like you have your work cut out for you it is a lot of work this is why i rejected a use eternal offer but after giving it some thought i decided it would be not so very bad if i took a small break time passes differently in the succubus realm as you should be only too aware a full day here beneath the sun she pauses not like it's shining right now but that's besides the point you are lost <laughs> a full day here lasts only a handful of hours in the sucking this realm yeah I'm aware you trapped me in the sucking this realm for weeks in weeks not so long after I finally sit in no parts thanks to AU I was relieved to discover only a couple days have gone by in the human world. I only missed a bit of work and I didn't miss any of my rent payments for my cruddy apartment. That was a huge load off my mind. I would be proper I want to be a proper professional ruler who always puts the needs of my subjects first, but I am hardly to be a good princess if I am particularly tired. That is how I decided to justify. I mean uh, justify I mean <clears throat> clear her throat. That is how I came to the objective. Not at all biased decision that I would like. No, I that I needed a break. This is for the sake of my subjects. I am not abandoning them for the pursuit of my own lectures. Please do not get the wrong idea. I want to have the fun with the rest of you, yes. But I am actually very selfless. 
I am here for the good of all the nemesis the denizens of my realm and therefore nobody can criticize me that's what you says but she doesn't look so that certain her face is still red with guilt I think and she is unable to meet my gaze is she afraid that I'm judging her I'm looking at her with some scrutiny it's true but it's not because of her supposed carelessness she looks pretty in that bikini but it still hasn't answered my it still hasn't answered my earlier question. All right, I get why you decided to come here, and to be honest, I don't blame you. You're not doing anything to be ashamed of. But if you wanted to visit us at the beach house, you should have just done that. I don't know what you're doing in the forest, or why you've been wandering around wearing a swimsuit. You always, you almost gave Marina a heart attack when she stumbled, when you stumbled out of the forest like that. Glance at Marina as the, and she's still crouched on the ground. Huh? Well, I'm just wounded on the rags. She rocks back and forth, muttering to herself. I can't what she's exactly saying, but she sounds vaguely like a heart sutsa. Is she trying to calm herself down? You might not be a ghost. Does, does look pretty spectral with her pale skin and her long dark hair. Her sudden unexpected appearance may have given Marina quite the scare. Oh, um, in regards to that. Oh, <laughs> she's so adorable. Ah, uh, but also very hot at the same time. Girl, you never seem to amaze me with this. Seriously. His face turned redder still. The lukewarm breeze stirs her longer hair and swings about her. I left the succubus realm a couple hours ago for, in your time, which would have been a day or so in mine. I mean, visiting you at the beach house wearing a brand new swimsuit I picked out, but she dips her head. I was so excited my coordinates were a bit off when I teleported. Oh, of course! <sighs> Rather than the pier at Marina's door, no. Jesus. Rather than appear at AU's doorstep, which I intended, I instead ended up in the middle of the forest. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've been trying to find my way out ever since, but um, I'm still not very good at directions. Feels like I've been going in circles. I'm afraid I would sub to exhaustion and collapse to feast upon the wild wolves until you appear. You saved me, Hideki. You are my prince. Jeez. Uh, you don't have to mention it. Sounds like you've had quite a hard time. Yes, indeed I have. That's not how I imagined my holiday going not at all. I've been spending hours in a stupid forest. Use stomach rumbles, embarrassed. She whimpers, and I'm so hungry. Have you eaten in a day? You shakes her head pitifully. I didn't find some funny mushrooms growing on the base of a tree. I was desperate, I thought about eating them. That doesn't sound like the best idea, but I reconsidered. There were red and white spots and they didn't smell good. I was afraid they were poisonous. I'd say you dodged your bullet though, though I'm wondering, can we poison the succubus? Of course we can. We know it's different from humans, though we are a bit tougher. Poison might be lethal to humans. Poisons which sorry. I'm all over the place. Poisons, which might be lethal to a human, would not be so for me. Um, they would only make my stomach cramp? I would not wish to spend my holiday vomiting, though. That will take all the fun out of me, uh, out of coming here. I imagine it would. Well, I offer you a small smile. I'm glad you found you, but you probably needed to wait for me to rescue you. What do you mean? Uh, you're a succubus, right? When you transform, you have wings. Yes, and? Uh, if it weren't for her earnest expression, I think she's playing dumb on purpose. This solution to our problem it seems obvious to me, but I don't, and I don't even have wings. I baffled she never hit upon it that her soldier in the forest, let alone while slowly starving. I always thought you was a sensible person, but I guess even the best of us have blind spots? If you weren't getting anywhere on foot, you could have flown. There's nothing stopping 
you from flying out there, was there? Yu's eyes widen. Did she seriously not think of this before? I can't hardly believe it. I, um, uh, uh, you, 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 you can't, oh god. You can't be serious that you forgot that you can fly. Woman, this can't be a thing that you've forgotten. Please tell me that you didn't forget this shit. Oh my god. Alright, looks like we're near them. Near there. I hear footsteps. And she must have found her way at long last. It took a while. Seems like we have company. Did you Do you want to greet them? Um you? I turn to you, but she's she doesn't hang around. Says she scrambles away. See? Really hiding herself behind a temple that shrine. Why is she trying to hide? Is she embarrassed, embarrassed about getting lost? I guess I can't blame her on that front, but she can't hide from the truth forever. The succubus princess says she needs to learn to fess up for her mistakes. Hey, you! I hit her, but I got cut off by Hazel Spicy, depending on me. Giving me a gradually smack in the back. You must have been pretty speedy to get here soon. Congrats! Uh, that isn't fair. <sighs> I was determined to get there first. So I could still... That's what you beat me. You have to kiss yourself. Oh, how that works. With a mirror! Ah, yes, I did not think of that. How this is this after all? What do you mean, self You know, self so What are you jabbering about? Did you guys get here before us? Ah, you, good timing. I was just thinking about being a oh, what's that? Please, allow me to explain. I am not reading that, because she knows in good well that's some crazy shit. <laughs> like, really, Cosmos? Come on. What sort of... What sort of egg? A soft-boiled one? Um... Ponders, one hand beneath her chin. I'm not sure about the specifics. I just read it about it once in a dojin. It looks very convincing. Yeah, sure. Close her eyes. You need to get some better hobbies, Cosmos. Being all the junk is rotting. You can say that, but some dojins are really cute art and really moving stories. The people who make them put a whole bunch of effort into them. I love reading. Even steamy ones. I even found a few dojins of you, hey you. Please don't talk to me about it. I don't to imagine the delusional fantasies about me that are available online. I only have so much faith in humanity. Now, now, AU is not nice to be misanthropic. Misanthropic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how you say that. Fill me pets are you on ahead as she would do want to do you want to try and see the best in others obsessing over the negatives will only upset you the film is right yeah look on the bright side all those in authors did what they wrote about you they make you way way nicer than you in real life and they make your chest bigger too how dare you there's nothing wrong with my chest so I see you're in one piece. Hazel look up and down smiling. But why Marina all hunch up in the pile over there? She hasn't hurt herself, has she? She should be fine. She's just had a bit of a fright. What sort of fright? She didn't really see a ghost, did she? Goodness me, I would love to see a real ghost. Can you find Marina? What does it look like? Perhaps it'll be crying in tears of blood or something else. Or murmuring about revenge. Not quite, no. Um ghost is way more corporal than that, you see. I begin, but then I was cut off by a confident voice full of pop. Yes, it is I, says you of Succubus Realm. I destiny to visit you, my foolish subordinates, as you might bask in my splendor. Rejoice, for now I, have, I am here to watch over you. Steps before and never... Steps behind the... Okay. You steps out from behind the Remshackle Shrine, her appearance drastically altered. She was wearing a skimpy bikini when I ran into her, and now she's in her succubus regalia. Her horns proud and tall, and shoulders enveloped by a fur cloak. There's no trace of her prior embarrassment upon her embustled face. Her pale blue eyes are hard and commanding. She looks cool and composed. 
as she does upon the throne in the succubus realm. I'm aware she's acting, but damn, it's a good act. She could even give Hafumi a run for her money. Wow, Lady Yu, I didn't think you'd come here. I was hoping you wouldn't come. I didn't want you breathing down my neck for the rest of the holiday. Hmm. Turns her nose in the air. You need not to worry about that score, hey, you. I have no desire in troubling myself with the likes of you. I only came here so I could reciprocate. So I, so I might better rule my subjects in the sector's realm. I do not care of you, for you at all. Oh yeah? Well, same here. It's not like I'm grateful to let Hideki go to the succubus realm back then or anything. Yeet! I for one think this is quite the fortunate turn of events. It's very good to see you, you. How long has he been here? Oh, um, about that. Use for soft splendor for a second. Of all us, she looks away. She cheats. I only just got here. I was drawn, you see. By the sound of uh, my making, I was attracted, but I'm off to the flame. But then, her words trail away and her stomach grumbles. The rumbling was so loud, even Marina ceased her shaking. She gets to her feet, throw her legs unsteady, and in regards to some surprise. When did you get here? That's what I was trying. She said she only just arrived, but based on our wager has been longer than that. You did not get lost, did you? No, I didn't. Really, I didn't. Are you sure? I know your sense of direction is somewhat lacking, though you are very competent in other regards. You need to be embarrassed you're your oldest cousin, huh? You're formidable better than anyone else. Please do not feel the need to... You... Sorry. Please do not feel the need to hide your secrets from me. I'm not worried about you as much as I am about the others. You glares at AU and Marina. But, well, um, if you wish to believe, it was not far from the truth. I've been here for a while, and I'm rather hungry. You, uh, wouldn't mind for praying for food for me when we return, would you, for me? Of course not, it would be my pleasure. Now, uh, how about you retrace your footsteps? I think we would have more than excitement for one night. Ifumi has a very good point here. There's so much has happened. I'm still reeling from it. I can't wait to get back home and have a lie down. I think I've earned it. Well, that's the end for me. All right, I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys want to see more, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. It has been Zed. I'll see you guys next time. Later.